Third grade men, third grade men, does what a third grade man can. Can he make a comic feed? Yes, he can. He just did. Watch now a video from Grey Man. A video from Grey Man. Grey Maniacs gather! The Grey Man is here again. Uh, I finally been able to pick up this package. And it's an, another awesome AOK. -okay. It's from Jambo Comics, I'm sure. Yes, yeah, that's this his name. It's in Kentucky. <laughs> it's the second time he sent me some comics. He's awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, I've got some Alpha Flight to show you as well. I've just been watching a video. How much money did I earn from getting 4 million views on my video? And this lady, was a British lady, and uh, she's got te over ten thousand dollars to get four million views on her videos. So on this one particular video, rather. So if we can just get this one to four million views, please. Uh, I know it's a little bit higher than my usual amount of views. <laughs> so it may require that the there may be 40 people who might watch this video if you could all add a few extra zeros onto the end i'm sure there's i'm sure i could do the maths how many is it 12 zeros in a in a million now so um 40 people watch it once uh, to add that's that's one zero to add another 11 zeros oh i don't bloody know but if you can all watch it like loads more times <laughs> We've ads on, obviously. No ad blocker stuff. Ah, lovely. Hey, hey. oops. <laughs> Graham, hey mate. Hope you're doing well. Some books to lift your spirits. Always necessary. Uh, forgot to put one in the box. Oh, I see. There's a box, that, and then this must be the one that you forgot to put in the box. I was like, huh? <laughs> My brain was for a second was thinking. Hold on a second. If you forgot to put it in the box. How do you put a note in the box saying that you forgot to put it in the box? But what do you mean? It's not. It's not in this bit here. He's on. It's on. <laughs> That's anyway. I uh, hope you don't have all of these. I checked the list, but don't know if you have picked any of these up lately. Take care, brother. See you online, Jambo. Awesome. He looks at my my wants list and he sends me cool stuff. I haven't sent him anything yet, though. But I don't know what he wants. Let me know what you want, Jambo. I'll see if I can find some stuff for you. Oh, awesome. Ah yes, lovely one for my Phantom Stranger run. Super duper, I haven't got this one yet. I haven't picked up too many lately, so hopefully there won't be any. The Iron Messiah, <laughs> Phantom Stranger number 15. That's a lovely, lovely cover there. Definitely one that I need. Let's hope none of these other ones I've picked up lately. So I haven't really picked anything up lately. I'm trying, trying not to pick stuff up. I don't, I can't. I need to pay my rent. <laughs> uh, or I need you all to uh, watch my video. Let's see, there's 40 people watch it maybe. I need to get 4 million to get 10,000. That'll help me out for a, a year. Um, plenty of views, Pl plenty of times. That's what I need. I can't bother to work it out exactly, but plenty of times. If it was four people, I need them to watch it a million times each. No, I still can't work it out. <laughs> um, I made a bold effort trying to work it out, but you know, just not possible. Awesome, thank you, Jambo. Lovely jubbly. Ooh. <laughs> uh, there's a nice Lois Lane here. Batman being portrayed, I said Batman. Superman being portrayed as an absolute Son of a gun. <laughs> you wanted to be with me to the end, Lois. This is it. So long. <laughs> He's just flying. Around. This is the end. This is the end for you, Lois. I'm out of here. I think you meant to save her, uh, Superman. Have you forgotten? Uh, Lois Lane never expected to be Superman's victim in the amazing afterlife of Lois Lane. <laughs> this is, looks like one towards the end of the run. One, three, five. Yeah, definitely towards the end of the run, this one. This is cool. These are pretty, uh, pretty good ones at the end of the run. The ones that they're, they're, they're sort of they're still they're still silly, but not as silly as the Silver Age Madness ones. But they're still pretty cool. <laughs> Bit of a bondage cover there, I'm sure. 
Superman's tied it to the... Oh no, yeah. I'm assuming that's what he's... Yeah, yeah, it's because he's flying out. I just realised, even worse. I thought he was just flying off and ignoring her, but he's not. He, he was actually driving the vehicle... Uh, where's the thing? Off of a cliff. He smashed it through the barrier. He's, a, he's tied it to the blinking front of a truck. Driven it around a blinking, winding, mountainous road. Smashed it... Aaron. Surprised she didn't get killed by smashing through the barrier if she's on the front of the truck. Maybe he sort of glanced it on the on the wing and smashed through, I don't know. Yeah, she's she's not in pieces. Her legs aren't broken, so I'm assuming she didn't get hit when she went for the when it went for the barrier. But uh yeah. <laughs> I know he's flying out the window. I'm gripping my jaw. Some people may remember about three weeks ago now, I said I had bloody bad jaw, but jaw pain hasn't gone away. I just haven't mentioned it since. But bloody pain in my jaw when I. But it doesn't feel like. I don't know. You know, I feel like you've got to go to the doctor or the bloody or dentist, but I don't know, because it doesn't feel like it's in my teeth. Do you, can you get infections in your jaw without having bad teeth or teeth that have gone. I haven't got any tooth pain, but I've got jaw pain up here. But it sort of goes in my ear a bit. And yeah, it's probably something terrible. Never mind. These things happen. <laughs> right, <laughs> lovely world's finest. Let's forget about the, uh, the the negatives and concentrate on the positives. Comic books. Uh, it took magic to kill Superman, but you get yours the old-fashioned way, Batman. Special Bureau of Missing Superheroes, featuring Tyrantula, the original web-slinger. Look at that one. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I've contacted. I don't think I think I'm allowed to say this. Uh, it's all part of all part of getting the uh, excitement going. But uh, Night Tiger has invited me to do a video of him, sort of part of his one one k uh, celebrations. He's got a few getting a few people together. He's doing a quiz, and uh, I'm to be one. Of, I've he's asked me if I wanted to be one of the contestants. I've I've not looked at the comic book. Love. Oh wow. Fantastic Four, that's a nice old one. Number 87. The Power and the Pride. Possibly the most offbeat ending of the year. <laughs> Got a bit of a tape pull on the thing's face, poor old thing. <laughs> but that's uh, low grade goodness. You got the comic book without all the super heavy price. Yeah, but I haven't paid for it at all, so it's even, <laughs> even cheaper. But yeah, I'm never one to worry about uh, little things like that, you know what I mean? Even if it's on, I mean, if it's not on the staples, even that doesn't bother me. <laughs> He's got the cover is there, the book is there, you know. I did. I was reading a really low grade, um, too low grade to be honest. I got myself a Jimmy Olsen for about a pound or something. Uh, I think it. Was, I thought it was just the cover, but it's like it's literally bits cut out of the comic book as well. Jimmy Olsen is actually cut out of his comic book. <laughs> Someone chopped him, cut out this around Jimmy Olsen. And then took, uh, yeah. <laughs> so maybe that's a little bit too low grade, but I've read the story now, so I might, I might add it to my my list to to pick up again because um, you know I'd like to have one where Jimmy Olsen isn't cut out of his own book. Oh, nice. Ooh, very nice. Number one, Marvel feature presents Red Sonja, She Devil with a Sword, first issue, new from the creator of Conan. Back, you hordes of hell, back. Or Red Sonya slays. I think you just get on with the slaying, Sonya. Get on with the slaying, because those guys ain't backing away. Oh yeah, look at that Red Sonya goodness. Hoo hoo. But that bra gets cold in the blinking winter. <laughs> Chainmail bra. I say Red Sonya. Oh dear me. <laughs> Firm fire. Oh, another one. Another one. Cool. Another uh, later run. Fire and fury in the age of Conan. The Red Sonya. She devil with a sword. Sumaro, where are you? We're surrounded by enemies on every side. And I'm blind. Blind. Oh, dear. Frank Fawn cover. She's been attacked by monkey men. There's monkey men and there's a bull woman with a crossbow. About to shoot her in the back. That's not that's not um, cricket. Decidedly not cricket. And I'm assuming Sumaro is the guy prostrate upon the floor. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because I'm thinking of a double meaning for prostate. <laughs> I'm thinking, no. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Super duper. Ooh, crisp and everything. They, 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 yeah. It's not low grade at all, it's good grade. Very nice. Thank you, Jambo. Oh, still so got more to go. Look, woo, more to go. Ah, champions number four. Hercules, Black Widow, Angel, Ghost Rider, Iceman, the champions. It's champion versus champion in a battle to the death. The slugfest you dare not miss. Murder at Malibu. <laughs> there you go, champions, awesome. Let's have a look. Ooh, nice, old Justice League of America, nice. Mmm. Sikowski and Giello is the cover. There's a Golden Age Sandman, it looks like there. <laughs> the battle marathon that turns the unifier the battle marathon that turns the universe inside out Batman, Sandman, it was Sandman Wildcat plus seven more superheroes versus Solomon Grundy, Blockbuster, Anti-Matter Man too overwhelming to be shown on this cover so it's just Blockbuster and Solomon Grundy on this cover oh, that's Wildcat being punched through the <laughs> and lots of Onomatopoeia in, <laughs> in large on the covers, go go checks as well. You got Wildcat being punched for a pal, uh, Solomon Sock on um, Batman, I think. Yeah, Solomon Sock in Batman, and he's landing with a fud on Sandman. <laughs> yeah, that's um, yeah, two normal or well, three normal level street fires against two super powered, super, super strong assailants. It's a nice old Justice League of America, nice purple cover, very nice. <laughs> Not too, the, the artist isn't the greatest though, I've got to say, some of the expressions, some of the look of the characters, it's, he, he's got that Silver Agey kind of style I suppose. Some of them going to look kind of squat and Blockbuster looks kind of squat as well rather than being looking like they're tall. If you stood Batman up there, It'd be taller than Solomon Grandi and Blockbuster, I reckon. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just a strange perspe perspective. What's the nice chunky one? Ooh, another Justice League of America. Ooh, yes. Ooh, chunky, chunky. Oh, a giant. The most sensational issue ever. This is the tragic beginning. And we dare not tell you the terrible ending. Plus, who are the seven soldiers of victory? That's classic. Funhouse Mirror one. I think that's a reprint of, a, of an earlier one. Uh, trying to work it. It was an 80 page one or a 100 page one. I think it's an 80 page one. Um, <laughs> <won't do. Yeah. laughs> I think it's an 80 page one. Well, I've got to move on. My battery is running low. I'm, I'm jabberwocky in too, too much. Two more to go. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Ah, oh, another old Justice League of America. Another one from my run. Uh, way to go, nice shot, Supes. The lantern is out like a light. The command is chaos. Superman just punched out Green Lantern. Why, why has he done that for? What's Hal done to deserve that? I know Hal's got no fear. Maybe he said something out of turn. This is like an, uh, this is like a, this is like the one punch from the Justice League of America a lot later on, isn't it? Well, this one, interesting. No trick, it's a treat. Elvira's House of Mystery, number 11. Giant-sized Halloween spectacular. <laughs> interesting. Uh, who doesn't like a little bit of witchy stuff? <laughs> Elvira riding into, riding into some Halloween hijinks, I, I suspect. That's cool. <laughs> it's a house of mystery. No, it's, a, it's her own house of mystery though, isn't it? So, oh, I might have to try and pick up the rest now. <laughs> no, I can't add this to my list. It's just, uh, I'll take it as a horror, horror story, I should think. 
comics biggest and best letters section. That's an interesting um, um, accolade to print. Oh, legs. <laughs> yeah, let's do a bub. Oh yeah, look at look what's on coming up in this issue. Look at all the cool people. Look at them legs. I mean, oh, damn. I keep mess. I keep messing up. I keep messing up and accidentally pointing to the thing that I'm trying to point to rather than rather than pretending it's something around it. <laughs> That's not how Bub does it. Right. Thank you very much, Jumbo. Those are bloody awesome, mate. Very nice. They shall go straight on my to read pile. <laughs> Oh yeah. Thank you. Much appreciated, mate. Uh, let me know if you're after anything. Oh, I've got anything. <laughs> I don't got loads of doubles. Nothing that Jambo would be interested in, I don't think. I've got no like nice old comic doubles much. Uh, most of them go in my in my mystery boxes that I'm trying to sell. Uh, one day, hopefully when I'm working again, I can uh, send a few AOKs out to people. Um, right, let's move on with my Alpha Flights. This is number 75, a giant size spectacular. And then stand aside, Gamma Flight is here. Yeah, I was saying Beta Flight yesterday, I think they were called Gamma Flight, but I think there was a Beta Flight as well, wasn't there? I'm sure it was a Beta Flight and a Gamma Flight. All got a bit confusing. Uh, Target Vindicator. Apparently some of the issues I showed yesterday was the first um, comics uh, in Marvel by Jim Lee. So, number 51 I think someone told him was the first Jim Lee uh, Marvel work apparently. Uh, the Scorpion invades Canada, but Alpha's hot on his tail. And American Invasion. Is that Necra down there? I think that's Necra. Isn't that the sister of the of the Mandrill? I think it's the Mandrill's sister. Quest for North Star. By the time Alpha finds him, it'll be too late. And this one, mutants in Asgard. They're still looking for um, North Star. The mutants is in the New Mutants logo, so maybe they're crossing over the New Mutants in this one. Do I see any New Mutants on the cover? No. Uh, Talisman alone against Lan. It's got a double L. I don't know how it's pronounced. If it's Wales. The double L in Wales is like, <laughs> but then if it was like uh, James Gallegos, so it'll be Jan. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how it's pronounced. Jan. <laughs> oh, did I show this one? I'm not too busy talking nonsense. Pity poor Alpha Flight, even if they win this battle, they lose. For Alpha to have any chance against the Sorcerer, North Star must share his power of Aurora. But even if he can, will it be too late? And the Catastro no, not catastrophic. The Cataclysmic Confrontation. Final battle with La Land the Sorcerer. <laughs> Lan, Lan the Sorcerer. I don't know. Oh look, oh look who's back, Wolverine. A new direction, a new era. Building blocks, part one of four. Guarantee, this issue contains the most shocking ending of the year, featuring the X-Men's Forge and Wolverine! <laughs> Oh look, he's got Wolverine in here, in his worst hair day. That haircut is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. How does he fit that hair into that blinking hat? Unless the hair is going up inside. Are we to assume that those bits were on the side there, his hair lives inside them or something? <laughs> no, he doesn't. 
They don't. They don't. That's ridiculous. It's a stupid story. Uh, for real, the return of the original Guardian, guest starring Wolverine. And look who else is back, eh? It's Puck! Oh look, Wolverine's there. Oh well, what a shocker. And next issue, number 90. Wolverine, guest starring Alpha Flight. I mean, Alpha Flight, guest starring Wolverine. <laughs> Uh, see, I used to like Wolverine when I first heard of Wolverine and saw Wolverine. Um, but you can get too much of a good thing. And eventually, too much of a good thing becomes an annoying thing. And it becomes a thing that you end up hating. So that's kind of where I am with Wolverine. Guardian vs Vindicator as Alpha's most terrible secret is revealed. Yeah, I think he came back a couple of times. Um, I think one of them was actually a legitimate, really, he did come back from the dead. Uh, but it was such a weird, convoluted story. His suit that blew up ended up actually moving him in time and space or something. And he was resurrected by some aliens, but he couldn't find out. He didn't know where the man started and the suit ended because they weren't used to our physiognomy. So they kind of like made him into like a robot-y kind of... Um, he ends up sacrificing himself again to save the world or some such shenanigans. Might have been against Galactus. Ah, Alpha and the Fantastic Four. What? No Wolverine? I want my money back. Anyway. <laughs> oh, there are other heroes in the Marvel Universe. The Fantastic Four. And look at that, an awesome cover with Sasquatch and Thing doing what all the blinking tough guys do in superhero comic books. They have a bit of a fisty cuff, don't they? they have a little bit of a fisty cuff. Right, the power of Rinshia, the decision of Aurora, the agony of Diamond Leo, lifelines. I've got to say, Jackson Juice is the cover artist. Some of aspects of this cover do not appeal to me. Diamond Lil's face, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too harsh, too critical. Uh, to Alpha's eternal regret, the master of the world is reborn. He wasn't a bad villain, he wasn't too bad, he wasn't too terrible. I think he was exclusive pretty much to Alpha Flight as well. So they did have a few villains of their own. What's her problem? And it is her. Her from a pod. What is the origin of Adam Warlock and her? Who? Oh no, her was created by some scientists, wasn't they? I can remember seeing that in later issues. They created her as the perfect woman or something. Oh, she's orange. Orange is my favourite colour. Mm. Anyway. Um, but, um, <laughs> uh, I completely lost track of what I was saying. Yeah, where did Adam Strange come from? No, I don't Adam Strange. Adam Warlock come from. Let's say Adam Strange already. But where did Adam Warlock come from? And I only care for another pod, but was he created by the same scientist who created her? Um, yeah, I think she changed her name to Kismet, eventually. I don't know if I met her, I'd like to kiss her. Dad joke, approved by the Grey Man channel. Right, there you go. Sasquatch fighting some green people. This issue, an alpha turns tail and runs. You know, self-preservation, sometimes it's needed. Yeah, it's called flight or fight, doesn't it? Flight or fight syndrome, and sometimes you just gotta fly. Uh, a half million aliens, a dozen Avengers, two scantily clad interstellar she warriors. <laughs> but wait, there's more! You got me at the scantily clad interstellar she warriors, to be honest. I don't need to read any further than that. Who are the scantily clad she warriors? Looks like Nova there, though uh, she's like, you can't tell. She looks, she looks naked, but you can't tell she's naked because she's like all kind of gold and stuff. I think it's Nova. There's Cersei by the looks of it. She's kind of scantily clever. Is she interstellar? No, I don't think she is. Yeah. 
still the tease is there, you've got to pick up the issue. <laughs> it's not a bad cover either, it's quite a good, um, you've got Galactus Lumin. That's, that's Lumin, I'd call that Lumin, what would you call that? We're gazing at them, but he's looming there in the, in the background, and they were on the, not, yeah, definitely the background. And they're all looking up at him, and like, oh my god, look who it is! It's Galactus! <laughs> god, any <he> big! <laughs> that kind of thing. You're very tall! <laughs> What's the weather like up there? That kind of thing. Right, and the 100th issue, this is the last one I'm going to show you for today. Uh, Alpha, right, featuring a special reunion, Alpha Artists Past, Present and Future. There we go. Am I, yeah, not all funnily zoomed there. I had a couple of issues with um, the, the picture not being clear. Clarity issues, I've had trouble with me clarity that you know. Right then. I've just gone red on the light. I need to finish this up. Oh, Choo Choo Comics. Choo Choo. I think that was the name of the channel. I just watched a video of this morning. Choo Choo Comics opened some mystery boxes, I believe. He's on less than 100 subs still. Oh, actually, there was one last night, but I've forgotten it now. I'll have to shout it out next time. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow, don't worry, I'll be back. And um, if you could try and get 4 million views on this to me, or for me before tomorrow, that'd be very helpful. Um, you might require you to watch it, go back in time, watch it some more, uh, keep on a continuous loop on 10,000 different laptops. Has anyone out there got 10,000 laptops? But anyway, however you do it, let's see if I can get to 4 million views. On this video, I think it has gone blinking funnily. Uh, I'm not sure. Is it blurry? Am I blurry? <laughs> it's probably for the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This close up, it's probably better if I'm a bit blurry. Right. Yeah, so I think it's Choo Choo Comics I'm going to shout out today. Choo Choo! Anyway, until next time, may all your news. Oh, thank you very much, Jumbo. Cheers, mate. Bloody awesome of you. I look forward to reading all of those and uh, knocking them off my list. <laughs> off my wants lists. Anyway, until the next time, may all your news be good news. Choo-choo, choo-choo comics. Choo-choo, choo-choo comics. Go and serve up choo-choo comics. Choo-choo, choo-choo comics. Choo-choo, choo-choo comics. Choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo. Go and serve him up now. Choo-choo.